Hello and welcome to ABC 4 News at 10. I'm Brian McElhatton. Sarah Murphy is on assignment. We want to thank you for being with us tonight. First for you now, teachers are speaking publicly after the Salt Lake City School District closed four elementary schools earlier this year. They say in the process of deciding to make this move, the future of teacher jobs wasn't taken into consideration. ABC 4's Jordan Tracy in the newsroom with our top story tonight. Jordan. Good evening, Brian. The teachers I spoke with tell me that when those schools closed, so did teacher jobs. The way they decided who stayed and who were let go is what's being called into question. Tiffany Rasmussen was a high school teacher in the district at Highland and didn't think the closure of elementary schools would impact her at the high school. But she says that the district prioritized seniority in teachers and that she was only in her first year at the district. She had uh, previously worked for years in the Jordan School District. Now she claims she was told to reapply for her job, despite saying she never had any bad marks in her reviews. When she reapplied, they told her there wasn't a job left for her. Rasmussen says that she was the only black teacher in the school, starting the step team and advising the Black Student Union. She grew up in Utah and says she didn't have a teacher like her, and now without her in the district, she fears her students no longer have that representation. It's heartbroken. He like said, I just. It, it really hurt um, to put so much effort into something and to make those connections and then just to be pushed away. I could feel and understand what the students were saying when they said they didn't feel like they were welcomed. They were showing me that I wasn't welcomed. Now, a couple things, Brian. We have reached out to the school district since yesterday to get their point of view but have not gotten a response. Now we're gonna dive deeper into this story tomorrow night at 10 and hear from other teachers' concerns about how these closures impacted teachers in the district. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jordan Tracy, back to you, Brian.